Hey everybody, this is R.C. Harley. Today, I'm working on my brigade headquarters company for my heavy brigade combat team that I'm building on a one-to-one -one vehicle basis. Um, I just got done stripping the vehicles that needed to be stripped. I've got some vehicles that were added that are that have already been kind of repainted up to my standard and then I've got some that were stripped before these are brand new and they've just been uh, painted with Tamiya white primer and uh, they'll be painted at one point in time these vehicles here were secondhand vehicles that I acquired from Anthony Zastava Biev, waving a hand at Anthony today. And these were stripped with just easy off oven cleaner. So that being said, I got to looking at some of the vehicles and all of the 577s, the M577s here are GHQ brand. Very nice vehicles, very nicely detailed. Um, if any of you have never bought any and you're new to the hobby, the generators are located on the top front. It's little square boxes that are located uh, right here. Those come as a separate deal and have to be super glued on. And then I've got a, an M113 here. That's part of my maintenance outfit. But I got to looking at some of the Humvees here, and I just wanted to do a little bit of a video on different brands and different types of Humvees. Now, this Humvee right here is labeled on the bottom. You'll notice it has a it has a hollow bottom. And I know you probably can't read the bottom of it, but it says 1988 GHQ. This is one of the original Humvees that I had that was issued to me once I got into the uh, reserves. And they were actually assigned to the unit as training materials. That being said, that they got rid of them down the line in lieu of getting electronic training devices and these ended up in the trash so I lovingly rescued them from the file 13 and brought them home with me and these were my first 1 285th scale GHQ miniatures. So You'll notice that the GHQ Humvee in 1988 had a hollow bottom and it was stamped with GHQ and the year that it was made. It's nicely detailed. It's got some really nice stuff here. You can see the headlights and the turn signals, windshield wipers, all the little idiosyncrasies, you know. So, the next one I'm going to, that's number one. I'm going to skip number two. And I'm going to go to number three. Number three here. I'm not sure who the manufacturer is. It might be GHQ. It might be CNC. But the details, again, are just as nice on it. You can see the headlights, turn signals, windshield wipers, door details, and all of that. But it has a solid bottom to where if the vehicle's ever turned over, I guess, for whatever stupid reason in combat. It's got a nice detail on the bottom. You can see the muffler and the drivetrain and stuff like that. Now, I noticed, picking up this one, that this is kind of a amorphodite, I guess what you'd say, a kind of a combination of one and three. If you turn it over, it has a hollow bottom. 
which makes me think it might be a GHQ newer model, maybe. But the details, again, are just as nice. See the headlights, turn signals, windshield wipers. You can see the, the rear details. But it's not labeled GHQ, although it could be. And it's got a hollow bottom. So, that being said, when they're parked together, you don't see just a lot of difference in the detail between number two and number three on the surface. However, the bottom side of the vehicle matches number two and number one, which we know number one is a GHQ. Notice the different hatch detail up top of number one. It's got a little bit more detail to the hatch area where this one and this one seem to have the same style hatch, which makes me think maybe these are the same brand. Also, the machine gun mount is over on the passenger side of the vehicle on number one versus being in the front on number two and number three. So, you know, some people don't care about that. They don't care what it looks like, you know, or something, you know, and that for the general gamers in this video here is just kind of for somebody like me who likes to notice the little details and stuff. And it kind of goes to show you that if these are different brand vehicles, how nice they are. They are all nicely detailed. Together. And they would work very nicely together in any kind of a military modeling or gaming scenario that you may have. Now, in this row of Humvees here, these are all the same vehicle. They're what I would call the vehicle number two. And they're all the same. And they've all been stripped. You can see just a little hint of green paint left on that one there. However, nothing to be concerned about whatsoever because once it's primed, it'll be, that'll be totally hidden. But yet the details of the vehicle are still there. And then these are GHQs. I believe they're GHQs. Yes, they're GHQs. Now, if you notice the GHQ, it's got the same style hatch again as number two and number three, but it's actually labeled GHQ on the bottom. So, you know, if you ever wondered about vehicles being, uh, well, like a Humvee, and then a Humvee A1, a Humvee A2, a Humvee A3, and also what's called an up-armored Humvee, which I have around here somewhere, but I don't have it handy, so I'm not going to include it in this video. But if you're into very detailed stuff, the newer model Humvees versus the older model Humvees, you can simulate that by these different types of vehicles. Now, these vehicles later on will receive probably machine gun mounts up top and uh, they'll probably receive antennas just basic details to where they look really nice on the game table and a lot of people a lot of people have said you know what harley you're a beast you know you paint windshield wipers and you paint you paint uh 
headlights and turn signals and stuff like that. Well, yeah, I do. But it's really not as hard as you think it is. But it makes a very nice looking vehicle. And then once some antennas are added to this, I think it'll be a very nice looking vehicle on the uh, on the table. Um, some of my some of my other stuff here. Headlights, turn signals. Stuff like that. I added a couple of lights on the top corners of the cab. I don't think I like them. I think I'll pull them off later on. But this is, I believe, is also a GHQ. Um, the, it was spray painted. So as you look really, really close, the paint is kind of rough flaked. I don't like it. It may be... Uh, it may be stripped and repainted later on. So anyway, like I say, I just wanted to show you some different models of the Humvee. And uh, I hope you're interested in this video. If anybody has any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, gripes, feel free to PM me or make comments in the bottom here. But for now, I'm going to get back to painting, priming, detailing, and stuff like that. This is RC Harley in my, what I call, my mate's rebuild facility. Thanks for watching.